Well, hello and welcome back to Southeastern Ohio Solar Haven. Here we are again at my solar rack. As you remember, this is the one I built earlier in the year. Yeah, I got some 320 panels on it right now, 320 watt panels. But I came up with a 2.0 version. I got it kind of stuck here next to a tree stump for the winter. And this is 2.0. Check that out. Nice sturdy one inch steel tubing welded all together, welded wheels on. Much cleaner install. Made this come out look a lot better for this box because the panels can tie right into it. And of course, we're using that nice fancy cord. And this is pretty good far away from the house. You go to the house, you can see right there how far away I am. I got 90 foot cords on these things so the voltage is great i got 240s stuck on this one i think it is the sharp no they're 230s i got the 230s on this one easy to move around lightweight as you can see this is for the evening sunshine there's about a thousand watts sitting right there well do the math 230 and 230 so that's uh 460 and 320 and 320 well that's 640 so there's a thousand watts of panel sitting right there just catching the evening sun this helps a little better in the winter time and the summertime too but it, it helps a lot in the winter time but uh yeah i plan on uh taking this hold rack apart i'll probably do that next spring because i don't really want to pull with it right now and i'm going to rebuild it just like the next one over there beside it because I like that better. You know, uh, it's all steel construction. I uh, welded it all up together, cut the pieces down, welded it all up together, painted it, and it looks much better. A lot better construction. The wood, you know, eventually rots and falls apart. So you want something that hold together. I gotta put some caps on top of this, that way rain don't go down inside there, so. But yeah, that's uh, I used one inch steel tubing and it's uh, the base is four by six. And if I remember right, this is more of a 45 degree angle on here. It might be a higher angle, I can't remember. I shot for 45, but it might be a little bit steeper than 45. I think it's more of a 50 or a 52 to be honest with you, but being four foot wide and you go to a height of, I think these are four foot two, might be five foot. I can't remember. <laughs> and of course, our famous, we're not gonna mention the company wheels. <laughs> we all know where those come from. But anyway, I wanted to update y'all on that because I'm really digging these little solar racks. Uh, easy to push around. Uh, you know, now on a flatter surface, it'd be better. I have to kind of wheel chalk them to keep them from, because there's a little bit of a slope right through the hill here. So, but yeah, that's uh, next spring, I'll probably update this big one here. I'd like to have four panels on this one, make it a little bit longer, but. That'll be a soon to see option. So once again, thanks guys for watching the channel. Uh, you know, hey, click like, shout out to my other friends out there. We got, uh, I wanna say it's uh, South Southern Ohio Solar Homestead. And we also got uh, DIY uh, uh, Solar Homestead up in Michigan. I, I can't remember his name. There's lots of other good channels out there. It's Chris DIYer. He's, he's got it going on with his garage set up. He's got it. He's got a very, very neat clean system. Great guy. Love talking with him. And, uh, you know, there's other guys out there that's got some really crazy stuff going on. There's Dave Paws and the lithium batteries. Uh, there's just all kinds of uh, great ideas sitting out there, ready to be used. 
and use for our advantage, we got to get ready because, you know, eventually these power lines we see hanging over the top of our head, one of these days this grid's going to fail and we're going to be in a world of hurt. And you better be prepared because when it happens, you're not going to be prepared. And you're going to wish to God that, oh, I wish to God that you, you know, you did something, you know, you ain't going to have fuel, so you're going to have to use something different. Right here's the key. And a little bit of that, too. It helps. It don't make a lot, but it'll make it when it's windy. Therefore, guys, take care. Click on that like button. Share my channel. Subscribe. Do whatever. I have, I've been trying to put new stuff out there for you to think about so guys take care and have a good day